Hey guys, so this weekend I went to Generation Beauty and I just wanted to do a little bit of a haul for you and show you all of the goodies that I got. It's all in this Luxie bag um, because I ended up buying a few things. But yeah, let's get into it. So when I was first going, my first impression was that we would be getting like this big beauty bag of free stuff. And it was a little bit different. We got smaller beauty bags on different days so like this is a Saturday bag this is a Sunday bag and then you had to go to each vendor give them a ticket that was on your pass and then you would get the item from them too so it ended up being a lot of things but if you didn't go to every single vendor I don't necessarily think it was worth it to go and the only problem with the vendors was it was like very very long lineups um it was worth it because you get like some full-size products but some you would go and just be a little bit disappointed so that was my only thing but i mean at the end of the day we had a good time we got a lot of cute free things they weren't actually free because the tickets are like a hundred dollars but i mean it's all just fine it's fine it was fun so i'll start off with the beauty bags so for saturday biggest thing would be this Tarte Powder Player Bamboo Press Powder Brush. So this brush is quite substantial. It's like a kabuki handled brush. Very thick, very dense, very soft. I don't know if I would use this for powder because I do use liquid foundation and then just powder over top to set. But I mean, it, you could definitely use this for your liquid foundation to buff it in. It's very dense. Or like even to blend your makeup after. Like blend the blush and bronzer together. Good. Next there was a absolute duo stroke eyeliner. So there's like one small end and one longer end. Get a crown brush. It's double ended. One side is a spoolie and the other side kind of looks like it'd be scratchy. So I'm just going to feel this real quick. Literally a paintbrush. A lot of dust in it too. I don't know. I don't know if I would use this, but like I'm all about the spoolie, you know? Brush out those brows, keep them tame. Then you also get a deluxe sample size of, I think it's a deluxe sample size. Maybe it's full size. I mean, that's like a pretty good size of glitter glue. I don't know how often I'm ever gonna use glitter glue, but this is a Too Faced glitter glue. You also get a Benefit Professional. It's just like a deluxe sample size it's inside of here. Then you get this crown brush. You actually got this crown brush on both days. So this is the concealer brush. It's just a nice thin synthetic brush. That was Luxie. Did I say crown? I don't know. You get this NYX Butter Gloss, which of course it wouldn't be an FC event if you didn't get a very bright colored lip product. Am I right or am I right? Next, uh, there is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, which is pretty nice because like how much oil do you actually use at one time? Like that'll last a while telling you that will last a while and lastly there's just a sample size of makeup forever smoky extravagant lash which I'm pretty sure I've used this before and I actually do like it so that's great then day two the Sunday bag is a purple bag and I'm pretty sure day one was better but like this one's still good too a delectable hand cream in lemon cream that's always nice to have once again there is the uh, Luxie concealer brush, so I've got a lot of concealer brushes now. There's a Pure Lease Blue Lotus Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask, intensely moisturizing, which is fantastic for my dry face. A Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in black, it's just like a mechanical one. Then you get a Pure Vixen Volume Mascara. Interested to see. I think they sell pure at Shoppers. This is the weirdest brush ever. It's like round but flat on two sides. Then lastly, there is a Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment, which this sounds really fun, so I'm excited to use this. I might even use this tonight. So that is everything from the day one and two bags. Now I will get into all of the goodness that took me hours and hours of waiting in line to get. So there was an Ipsy booth and I chose this makeup bag. There was like four different options, so I got the brows one. From Pure, there's a Double Ego Dual Ended Eyeliner. So I got mine in gray. I think there was like a bronze, a green, a blue, and a gray. So I figured gray was probably the best option for me. So one side 
is a mechanical liner and the next is a thin liquid liner. So at Cake or Delectable, I'm very confused, like everything says Delectable, but the brand is Cake, maybe the line is Delectable, not too sure about that, but there's this balm and apparently it does like 21 things, so it's pretty cool, it's like a little bit fruity smelling, so I'm excited to try that out and like see what I can actually use it for. At Nude Sticks, they were actually giving away free full-size nude sticks. They have a new formula and it's a gel color lip and cheek balm. So I'm actually really excited about this. I'm gonna put some on because I forgot. So you got to pick your shade out of, I think it was like eight shades. Here are the shades. So let me just pull them out. So I ended up going with Pulse, which is a mid-tone shade and I am super happy with it. They're really comfortable on the lips and I actually wore this on day two because I was so in love with it. Physicians Formula was actually giving out full-size products. So I ended up getting the Super BB Insta Ready um, Contour Stick don't actually know what it's called but it's just like the three tone stick so I figured that'd be fun I've always kind of been interested in like the cream contour kind of thing so we will give that a try and then I also got the Sunkissed glow super BB insta ready bronzer so because summer's coming up I figured bronzer all the way just bronze myself up I'm pale I need it so we'll go with that from Benefit, you get a deluxe sample of the Do The Hula Liquid Bronzer, I believe is what it is called. So it just comes in a little tube and has a little pump. At Absolute, um, I got a Velvet Lippy and I just picked it up in a nude color. There was a wheel and you would spin it and it either landed on a Velvet Lippy or a gloss. I don't know what they were calling it. Um, but it was a gloss, so I ended up getting the velvet lippy, so I picked up the nude color. At Crown Brushes, they were handing out these like big gift bags. So we're like, oh, let's go look at Crown Brushes. And we get there, and inside there is a little eye brush inside of these big bags. So it was a little bit of a letdown, but nonetheless, kind of feels like a nice brush. It's synthetic, and I actually feel like it might even be nice for concealer blending it, you know. We can always see. So Smashbox was like, Probably one of the top booths in my opinion. They were like very efficient at getting people in and out so the line was moving quickly and like, what? Okay, so we got a full size primer. Let's just take a moment to soak that in. And a deluxe sample of a mascara, which Smashbox mascaras are awesome. But like, you're giving away a full primer? Are you kidding me? So I left with the hydrating primer, so excited because I've always kind of wanted to dabble with Smashbox primers. Obviously they're very expensive, so, and the fact that it's hydrating is very exciting for me because again, dry skin. So I'm excited to try this out. At the Luxie booth, um, they were giving away the Luxie 522 tapered highlight brush, which I'm very excited about. This would be very nice for highlight and even like under eye powder setting, you know? You know what I mean? Just right there. And I was really looking to get some brushes this weekend. I went ahead and picked up the Luxie 520 Tapered Face Brush. And it is just a little tapered face brush. And it's very, very soft. So I'm pretty excited about this. I needed a powder brush, so I got this for powder. And then I went ahead and got the Luxie 502 Large Powder Brush. This one is a bit pinched at the top. So I figured this would be very nice for bronzer bronze all over with all my new bronzers. Too Faced was like the biggest line ever. I don't know if Too Faced or Makeup Forever was the biggest line, but like they were both actually insane. But it was because they were giving away such great products. So they are releasing the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer, which I love concealers. I love my Naked Skin Concealer, but like I'm always game to try out a new concealer. Um, so they're going through the line and actually matching you. They would go and match it on your wrist or face or whichever you wanted. And then you'd bring it up and they would match it on you. You could put it on if you wanted. And then they would give you the full size concealer. So I picked up the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer full size and very fair for free. So that's sick. And then you also waited in another line and you got the chance to win. There was like palettes, gift cards, 
uh, melted lipstick. So I ended up winning the Chihuahua Melted Lipstick in a deluxe sample size. So I'm really excited about that. And lastly, Makeup Forever. This was a day two thing. We had to wait till the next day because we ran out of time on the first day. First off, you get this cute little makeup bag, which is like very, very nice for summer. Then you would go to these different stations. Oh my God, my choker has been sideways this entire time. That is disgusting. So you'd go to different stations and you'd have to get three different wristbands. It was like festival themed. So after you get all of your wristbands, then you would get your prize. So at first they matched you with foundation. They ran out of foundation. So I ended up with one that's like completely way too dark for my skin, which is like fine, whatever. Like it was free and not offended or anything. Then you get the waterproof sensitive eye cleanser, which is nice. And then you get two liners. You get a Aqua XL eye pencil and it's in like a fun color. It's like this purpley lilac color. And then a Aqua XL eye pencil in black, which is like awesome, perfect, fun color and a neutral. And then you get a full two eyeshadow palette, which is like amazing. Are you kidding me? I ended up picking the nude one. It's like nude and then this like taupey gray sparkly color, which is very pretty, very nice size to like grab and go, do a quick eye look. So I'm very excited about that. So that is everything from my little makeup haul from Generation Beauty Toronto. It was the first year of them doing it there. Overall, I'm very impressed with everything that I got. It's kind of a drag waiting in line all day, but like after you have all this stuff, it's so fun, you get to play with new makeup that you might not normally buy. So yeah, it was exciting. If you would like to see a review on any of these products, please let me know down below and I would be happy to do something like that. Maybe like a get ready with me with some of these products. So thank you everybody for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.